Welcome back to Black News Tonight. We start our tour of the black world in Rwanda as there's a major update on the terrorism case against Paul Rusesa Begina, the real life inspiration behind Hotel Rwanda. Following international backlash over the ongoing controversial trial of Rusesa Begina, a hero of the 1994 genocide in Rwanda, the nation's president, Paul Kagame, has relieved the justice minister and attorney general of Rwanda, Busingye Johnston, of his duties. Johnston took to Twitter this week, expressing his gratitude for his new role in the administration as high commissioner to the United Kingdom. Rosessa Begina is facing terror related charges and a possible life sentence. We now move to West Papua, where on Wednesday, four Indonesian soldiers were killed and two others wounded at a military post. According to the Indonesian officials, about 50 members of the West Papua Liberation Army were behind the attack. West Papua has been under Indonesian control after a highly controversial UN-sponsored referendum in 1969. Earlier, we reached out to Benny Winda, the interim president of the United Liberation Movement for West Papua. He has given us an exclusive statement regarding this recent attack and, more importantly, the larger context of West Papua. This attack carried out in my Bara district, I don't know who is doing it. For sure, I know that Indonesian propaganda always using this kind of killing to conduct the military operation because last few years, almost four years now, since 2018 up to now, Indonesia sent 21,000 troops in West Papua for conduct the military operation. Now in my Barat region, they want to more send the more military. They carry out this attack using the reason to send more military. So this is part of the Jakarta plan to wipe out the black people in the region, in West Papua. They already wiped out 500,000 men, women, children already. So this is part of the killing their own people in order to send more military, wipe out uh, entire population. Just what happened in uh, Yahukimo district, uh, 2018, the, they're killing own people, almost 18 people. Then they blame uh, West Papua army. In Intan Jaya, they're killing their own military military general, then they blame West Papua Army. Uh, so this is in order to send more um, the troops in the region. There is no reason to send the more military in West Papua because of world watching. So this is part of the Indonesia tactics using this kind of killing in order to send the military. So I'm really concerned about the, what happening in the West Papua. Uh, Birdhead region in my Barat because last three years 50,000 Papuans displaced in Intan Jaya, Punjak Jaya and Duga. Now they're looking another way to conduct their military operations and send more military. They have to create this violence. Indonesia governments uh, banned international uh, media, for example, BBC, ABC, all totally banned last 50 years, including Amnesty International, Red Cross, International Peace Brigade, also Oxfam, totally banned in West, entering West Papua. So Indonesia using this uh, reason to, you know, oh, that is a bad people in West Papua, there is a uh, rebel uh, killing foreigner, but actually Indonesia themselves create violence, just trying to destroy destroy the black populations in Melanesia or West Papua. So that's why I'm a little bit concerned in the media, they're saying this killing by, uh, you know, West Papua, but we don't know because there is no independent media to cover. And they're just Indonesian propaganda media uh, trying to educate the world what happening, but actually the other way around. So we really need the our brother and sister across the world to find out and secondly this also uh, distract attention because at the moment people of west papua across the world are campaigning free victor jaymo victor jaymo is a victim of a racist attack by indonesian military in jakarta so he's peacefully advocate and campaigning for the racism discrimination must ban uh, in, in cross West Papua. And he is just victim of racism. It's not about talking about independent, but because of the Indonesian mil military and police are called West Papua monkey and pig and animals. So that's occurred cross West Papua protest 2019 up to now. 
Some of them Papuans were being arrested, some of them in prison, and he is one of the leading peacefully led the Papuan. We are not monkey, we are not, uh, we are human, we are not monkey, we are not, we are black, we are proud, and don't call us monkey. Uh, we are the human family. That is uh, the campaign that he led, and now he's in prison. A lot of people are demanding their his release. Now, I think this is part of the distract attention from the public. Here on, here on BNT, we will keep you up to date as the West Papuans continue to fight for their independence.